بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر پیرنٹس السلام علیکم ڈاکٹر ظفر وتھ یو تھینک یو فار لائکنگ مائی ویڈیوز آن یور اسپیشل ریکویسٹ آئی ایم پلیز ٹو شیئر وتھ یو سائبر ایڈکشن ان چلڈرن ایڈکشن وین ایور وی تھنک اباؤٹ ایڈکشن ڈرگ کمس ان آور مائنڈ فرسٹ اینڈ ایڈکشن از این ارج ٹو ڈو سم تھنگ دیٹ از ہارڈ ٹو کنٹرول اور اسٹاپ It's a psychological and physical inability to stop activity, drugs or substance and electronic devices, etc. Or when the use of that substance begins to interfere with your life and relationships. Our entire generation is online. 40% children are addicted to the internet. And at the same time, almost 40% young people fear they are addicted to the internet now how do you know your child is addicted to the technology nine signs of addiction in kids if you get these signs that means he or she is addicted to the technology number one your child can't control their screen use number two loss of interest in other activities Number three, it preoccupies their thoughts. Number four, it interferes with socializing. Number five, skin use causes serious family problems. Number six, your kid shows signs of withdrawal. That means if he doesn't get mobile or iPad, he becomes very irritable. Number seven, their tolerance is increasing day by day. Number eight, they are deceptive about it. That means they don't think that this technology is bad for them. Number nine, a screen is their mood booster. That means if he gets his iPad or mobile, he becomes very cheerful. According to a study in 2017, the amount of time kids spend on a screen isn't actually as important as how dependent the kid is on the screen. Spending too much time in front of a screen has been linked to a lack of sleep, speech delays, and poor social skills. It's obvious that our kids' addiction is correlated with higher rates of obesity, less time is spent reading, less self-directed imaginative play, and less face-to-face -face social interaction. There are 12 steps to taming and living with the addiction. Number one, determine how much screen time you will allow. Number two, be clear and consistent. Don't let weenie kids wear you down. Be clear about your expectations and sticks to your principles. Number three, Never let them on electronics if they haven't finished homework or assignments or if they have misbehaved. Remember, screen time is a privilege for your kids, not a right. Number four, lock your computers and check phones. If your child won't let you to check their phones, take their phones away. Be vigilant. Be aware of how they spend their screen time. Check who they follow and who follows them. Number six, explain the dangers. Clarify, clarify that you are not trying to ruin their fun. Rather, you are aiming to protect them as any good parent should. Number seven, allow for boredom. Kids will cry that they are bored or have nothing to do. This is code for, I want my drug. Number eight, guide them toward alternative activities. This gets easier and easier once they recognize that no amount of winning or pleading will get them their drug. Number nine, expect relapses. Vacations, your work schedule and household crisis can set your kids down the wrong path. Number 10, 
make adjustment as necessary. If your plan isn't working well, this doesn't mean it is a complete failure and you should stop trying. Remember, a stone is broken by the last stroke of hammer. This doesn't mean that the first stroke is useless. Number 11. Institute electronics off days. Many kids summer camps don't allow electronics. But if camp isn't feasible for your family, implement for your own household electronics day off. Give them a reward for a month off, such as a sleepover party or a day at an amusement park. But please remember that don't make the reward a new video game. Number 12. Parents are role model for their children. Be a role model. We all could benefit from the rules we set for our kids. When you are with your children, avoid being on or checking your phone. Now, very common question from the parents. What should I do if my child is addicted to technology? Well, you realize that your child is addicted to technology. So, are you ready? Here we go. We have some solutions. In trying to wean your child off their online obsession, consider these five factors. Number one, don't get them to go for their favorite foods like McDonald's, Burger Kings or KFC. Number two, if there were no boundaries before, set some boundaries. Number three, make a list of priorities where honesty should be on the top of the list. Number four, make a allowance of screen time. Number five, start by changing the content rather than usage. Five advices to parents. Number one, don't use electronic devices as pacifiers. Means if the child is disturbing you or making you making trouble, don't give them mobile or iPad to let him stop. No. You never know which site your child may open and how she can be exposed to unwanted content. Number two, do not allow your child to use your social profiles to connect with friends. Also, restrict him for having his own online profile without proper supervision until he is matured enough to understand the pros and cons of using the internet. Number three, monitor your child's habit of clicking random pictures. She should be made to understand a person's right of privacy. Number four, do not allow your child to download games or apps without your permission. Even if they are free of cost, the games or apps may have inappropriate content that he may not understand. Number five, do not give in to your child's demand to use the internet whenever she wants. If she is restless, find out the reason for the same and talk to her. Parents need to understand that their, either their child may want to escape the tension related to studies or exams by surfing the net or she may have experienced some sort of victimization. Be a role model. If parents set a good example by restricting their internet usage to only when necessary, children may learn to follow their parents. Make the online world a safer and happier place for children by setting your own goals related to internet usage. Thank you very much. Stay blessed.